Hi everyone, my name is Dave Dubay. I'm a product manager at Cisco, and I wanted to show you a cool tool that you can use to help manage your install base. The tool in question is called My Devices, and you can get to it by going to Cisco's support website. And off to the right under Devices is the button to actually get into My Devices. Alternatively, we also have that utility within the Cisco Technical Support mobile app, which is available for iOS and Android devices. You go under Cases and Contracts, and then My Devices will load up the application as well. Now currently we have 152 devices in my particular collection. There are three ways one can add additional devices into their collection. The first one I'm going to do for my phone. You could either manually type in one serial, uh, one serial number at a time, or you can use the barcode scanner that we've included within the app to add a device into your collection. And that is added quickly. Kind of nice. The second way is by importing a device through a CSV file. So if you happen to manage your inventories using Excel or maybe you're using SolarWinds and you can dump to a CSV file, uh, you can just quickly drag and drop that CSV file into the tool and it will start updating that. And I'll just show you real quickly what that CSV file will look like. At a minimum, you need a column for the serial numbers. And then optionally, if you add a device name for each one of the individual serial numbers, you can do that. Uh, also, there is a, a tagging column. So if you want to, in the future, filter based on, let's say, location or uh, any other uh, criteria, you can add a, a new tag, each one separated with a pipe. And then with the notes column, you can add individual notes for each of the, your devices. And those devices have now since been added. The third mechanism. This is uh, available for our end customers at this point in time, or only our end customers at this point in time. And that method is to import from contract. So as part of a authentication or two-factor authentication, we, we're asking users to submit one serial number that is covered under one of their contracts tied to their profile. So what we're doing is we're going out, we're looking to see what contracts are associated with you, and if there were multiple ones, they'd be listed down here. You could then independently select one or multiple or all from which you want to pull those devices from. You can independently select whether or not you want to include the sub-chassis items like line cards or memory modules, whether or not you want to include IP phones or not. And then when you click Next, you'll get the uh, legalese or disclaimer to uh, accept. And then what it's going to do is go off, find your contracts, find all the devices on your contracts, get those serial numbers, pass them through into our um, APIs that we have to extract information like end of life information, product documentation and whatnot, uh, and we'll embed all that information into your collection. So now, you know, we talked about how you would go about looking or reporting on your devices. Let's look at what it might appear for a given device. So if you go back to that device I had added from the phone, we get actually quite a bit of information. So the first thing you'll see is we have a link to that product's documentation and software page. So all the documentation, like command reference modules, uh, configuration guides, that's all available for that particular device. Likewise, uh, contract information. So this particular device, it's under contract, and that contract's associated with my profile. So we do expose the contract number and when that device is falling off contract. If that device was not under contract, we would still say it is covered, but we just wouldn't expose that details. And then if that device was not covered, uh, obviously you would just, it would show that it was not covered. Kind of self-explanatory there. Um, and then lastly, we have warranty information off in this with, within this particular panel. Down on the bottom, we show you where we believe that device is located. And if you realize that that's incorrect, you can go ahead and click the change link type in the new address and a request will get submitted for you uh, and somebody from Cisco will contact you to uh, ensure that that was a correct change. Last thing from this particular page, you can actually open a support case from a device that we already know that's tied to your contracts and as a result there's not a whole heck of a lot of information you need. You just type in the tech subtech, add in a problem code and then some type of description and from that you can go ahead and submit and a new case will get opened immediately. So the bare minimum of information that you need to provide. So that's kind of a view at the device level. If you want to holistically look across 
all your contracts or all the devices within your collection, you can do that by clicking the Reports tab. And the first report that comes up is a contract renewal report. If you scroll to the bottom, we see we have 168 devices that are within the collection, but 95 are not covered. So you could dive in and see what those devices are. Likewise, of the ones that are under contract, eight are expiring within, a, within the next three to six months, and another 40 from between six to 12 months. So now you can start to get a little bit of a view of whether or not you want to go ahead and start budgeting accordingly of, uh, so you can extend those service contracts or not. Uh, that's certainly up to you. Uh, likewise, if you go into the product lifecycle report, you can now see the last day of support information, end of sale, end of software maintenance, end of service renewal. Um, so from here, you can kind of get a better glimpse of the product lifecycle status for the devices that are within your collection. Likewise, if you want to get to the point where um, maybe you want the raw data, if you go to the Devices tab and you clicked on the Export button, if you select Default Format, that will export all the information into a CSV file. And from there, that'll incorporate all the details, like you know all those end-of-life dates and whatnot. Um, that'll be there as well. Um, Furthermore, if you actually went into that CSV file that you had exported, uh, you could you know, uh, alternatively go in and actually add additional tags or augment any of that data and then re-import that CSV file and your collection would automatically be updated. So that's a quick overview of the utility called My Devices. If you have any feedback after trying it or you have additional questions, you can go in, click the bullhorn, um, type in your comments. And all those comments go to the product manager, one of my colleagues, and the development team. They see those uh, immediately when that email comes in, and they appreciate all comments, good, bad, um, indifferent, um, any ways we can try and improve the, the utility they want to hear from you. So hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, hope you'll give it a, a kick the tires a little bit, uh, give it a test, and uh, let us know what you think. We appreciate it. Thanks, and have a good day.